Hey, what's up guys, Xhover here, and in this video I'll be showing you how to assemble your MXP-230 FPV quadcopter. With this kit you'll receive 28 screws, 4 nuts, Allen key wrench, 8 small standoffs for your arms, 8 screws 20 millimeters long, 6 matte red standoffs, 4 standoffs for your landing gears along with the plastic tips, and a strip of velcro or neoprene tape sorry, for your HD camera, and your velcro strap for your battery. You also get the bottom plate, middle plate, and the top plate and four six millimeter thick arms. For the first part of the assembly process, you'll need your forearms, your middle plate. And keep in mind, if you're planning on mounting a GoPro, you want these slots to be on the right so they can hold the Velcro strap. And you'll need your small standoffs along with your 20 millimeter screws and your Allen key wrench. first part is you want to get your screws and you want to insert them into the middle plate while holding the screws you just insert your arm it doesn't matter if you um, put the arms upside down they're the same same way either way then you just get your small standouts and you screw these all the way in once you've screwed both of them in you want to get your key and you just want to make sure these are nice and tight. Another thing you can do is get a wrench and just hold it on the other side while you screw this side. It's going to make sure the arm is secure. And you want to make sure these are really tight because this is going to be the main part that's going to be holding the arm nice and tight. Once you've done that, you want to do the same process with the rest of the arms. And this is what it should look like once it's all done. The really nice part about this is that these small standoffs hold this, the arms in. So when you're working on it or you're installing your electronics, the arms aren't going to be falling off. And it just makes things a lot easier. Alright, so the next step will be installing your red standoffs. For this you'll need six 8mm screws, six standoffs, and your Allen key wrench. The way this is going to work is the middle plate has three holes on each side. And this is basically where your standoffs will be going. I also made it, if you want to place your standoffs elsewhere, I made these small slots where you can put your standoffs and uh, it will align with the top plate. So you want to start from the bottom of the, the middle plate. And you want to insert your screw and just install your first standoff. I do recommend using Loctite, but if you plan on taking this apart constantly, I don't recommend it. Just don't put too much Loctite or else it gets really hard to take them off. Then just make sure everything's nice and tight. And that's what it should look like with the standoffs installed. The next step will be installing your top plate, which you'll need six of the eight millimeter screws. And like I said, these slots align with the top, so if you need to move them, so that's fine. And this is pretty self explanatory. I don't recommend using Loctite for the top plate only because I've found out that I've been having to unscrew everything to get to my FPV gear or get to my control board but you do want to make sure they're nice and tight so they don't come loose and fly.
The next step in assembly is installing your bottom plate. For the bottom plate, it doesn't matter which side you have it or if it's upside down. Either way will work. Just want to line it up with the holes. Just drop it in. And for these small nuts, you want to make sure they're in the inside. The outside screws are going to be for your landing gears. Once you have those installed, next step is install your landing gears. And what I like to do first is I like to install the standoffs before I put the plastic tips on there. So you just want to do these on all four ends. Once you've done that, the next step is installing your the plastic tips. These are going to be snug to fit, but that's so they don't come off during flight. And that's what it's going to look like. The very last step of this build is installing your battery strap. Keep in mind, this battery strap is going to make you go faster, and it's going to make you become a greater pilot, believe it or not. So here it is guys, the fully assembled MXP230 FPV quadcopter. I hope this video really helped you guys out. And if you guys have any questions, please feel free to email me at support at xhover.com. Or you can give me a call. Just go on the website and use our contact form. If you guys need any help or any questions. Again, thanks for your purchase and congratulations on your build. Thanks for watching guys. Until next time. See you later.